As Election Day approaches, one issue getting a lot of attention in Albany is the future of the Flint River. WALB News 10's Gabrielle Tate shares some local leaders' ideas on how it could become a better attraction for the city. Illegal river dumping can cause many problems for the environment. And staff with Keep Albany Doherty Beautiful tell me that in order to prevent that, we need to change how the Flint River is being used. There are some native species that live in the river that this dumping can affect them as well. And the water that we have is the only water that we'll ever have. And we just have to be careful about how we treat it and, and know that anything that we put in the river, it is affecting us as a whole. And we don't want to take that natural resource for granted. Recently, WAOB did one-on-one -on -one interviews with several local candidates in the upcoming election. Many mentioned the riverfront as an opportunity. Shell Park and the Flint River Aquarium, with some improvements, could attract visitors from throughout the state and the entire southeast. We have a river. We are a river city. In any city that I travel uh, through throughout my traveling, uh, the, the rivers are being utilized. At night, our river is dead. I think we had an event a few years back called A Day Out on the Flint or something like that. But if we bring those type of activities back around the Flint River area, we will uh, see a difference in that area. Keep Albany Doherty Beautiful hosts a Flint River cleanup once a year. But if people want to get involved even more than that, they can. Anyone that would like to organize a cleanup to walk down the banks of the river, we would be more than happy to help them plan and organize their event. Be sure to check out this story on WALB.com to see how you can get in contact with Keep Albany Doherty Beautiful. Gabrielle Tate, WALB, your hometown news source.